Dear Daughters of Charity, Family and Friends, Direct from Washington, D.C. and representing international news media, I would like to congratulate you personally, Sister Maria Socorro Pilar Evidente, for your 50 years of exceptional service, unselfish dedication, passionate and noble mission as a daughter of charity. Thank you, Sister Corey, for all the wonderful things that you do every day to help and to inspire people, not only in the Philippines, but also around the world. My name is Awi Abayar, and I feel so blessed to be a friend of Sister Corey. Aside from my role as a broadcaster and as a media person doing print, radio, and television work for many years in the United States, I had also organized community events and expositions where I had long wanted to present Sister Corey with an award. It was never easy for her to travel abroad because of her work, so it never happened. It is true that God plans everything in His own time. On November 8, 2017, Sister Corey was finally able to travel to California with the blessings from the Daughters of Charity to accept the Hall of Fame award given by the international news media. It was attended by many distinguished Syrian government officials, including her family and friends who traveled from all over the United States and most especially members of the Daughters of Charity from California who made a great effort to be present as she received the international news media first highest honor, the Hall of Fame Award for her divine and humanitarian service to God. And may I add, Sister Corey is gifted with a heavenly angelic soprano voice and during that event she sang obligingly, People Need the Lord and light of a million mornings in front of a mesmerized audience. Remember that, Sister Corey? God is all-knowing. He gives assignment to the most trustworthy. And out of the 109,581,078 people in the Philippines, God chose and assigned someone who he named Socorro, which literally means help in Spanish, to help him do his work on earth, to take care of the abandoned children, the orphans, the elderly, persons with special needs, the homeless, the hungry, people with disabilities, the neglected and the abused, individuals and families in crisis situations, the underprivileged and the marginalized. Sister Corey did all these and many more by giving herself her entire life without aspiring for any recognition because of her undying love to this divine task. Sister Corey is kind and understanding, patient, hardworking, and humble. She is the epitome of piety and holiness. I have met and talked to many of those she had helped, including one young man who called me from Norway during my radio program in Los Angeles. He told me that he was cared for by the auspicio of the San Jose until he was adopted by a Norwegian couple. Always at the center of these and many more successful stories is Sister Corey. Yes, the same Sister Corey who passionately cares for the needy, who plans different creative projects to make sure the auspicio of the San Jose gets financial support, who fights for the underprivileged, and the same Sister Corey who undertakes her mission day in and day out, untiringly and energetically to serve the poorest of the poor with complete love and devotion, all in the service of God. Indeed, I feel extremely blessed to be able to extend my congratulations to you, Sister Corey, on your 50 years of service. May God bless you with continued good health and provide you with great wisdom to lead God's people towards His heavenly kingdom. Your 50 years of service as a daughter of charity is a special day of celebration to rejoice the blessed assignment you received from the Lord, a day to thank Him for choosing you to do God's work, which you offer with great love and sacrifice. We love you, Sister Corey. May God bless you always and keep you close to His heart. You said that God is the manager of Hospicio de San Jose. Yes, He appointed you. And through your work, we see God. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for today. We praise you and glorify you. Thank you for Sister Corey, 
Thank you to all the Daughters of Charity and to everyone in attendance on this blessed day. May God bless us and keep us safe in His embrace forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.